checking that your mobility rotor is configured for external access. So what I'm going to show you now is this is the configuration on, on a mobility router and it is not NAT, it has a NAT enabled. Here's our public IP address. We also have a fully qualified domain name which is mobility.landintelligence.com. Now one of the common issues or issues that we see a lot is the fact that it isn't properly either NATed or uh, the port is not open to external access so you'll see things like uh, calls phones that could register but they can't actually complete calls because once it tries to connect through that uh, port it gets blocked so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you I'm going to lower this down so you see the public IP address I'm going to bring in a command prompt now especially off the network or if you're doing this for somebody else uh, what you can do is first of all I'm going to ping mobility.intelligence.com And what you see is I should at least it should resolve the public IP address. Okay, so ping is actually turned off on this this interface. But what I can do is I can tell Net to we'll try the number first, 192.16192.34.40.251 space port 443 because it is allowing SSL. And what I should see is I should get a reaction. I should get a response. But let's just say that. I'm going to put it at uh, 199, we'll say port 443. So I don't know what's at 199, but I'm going to try it. What happens is you see it just connect, connect, connect. It doesn't actually connect to the site, obviously, because there's nothing there. And I'll wait for that to time out. Okay, so it's timed out. So what we can do now is actually tell that into the appropriate uh, location. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start another window here. So we can try both ways. And I'm going to go telnet 192.34.40.251. As you can see before, it really connect, it failed to connect. If we go space 443, what we should see is once I hit enter, it should respond. Boom, there's a response. So even though I can't really do anything with this, it does actually show that 443 is open. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to use the DNS entry. So I'm going to say telnet mobility intelligence dot com space four four three. I should get the same response. And there we go. So thereby, thereby, since I can telnet four four three into it, and also if you're on the network, you should be able to telnet into the internal IP address as well to get the same response. Uh, now I can confirm that this actual natting of this public firewall and this public IP address in the firewall is active and it is working.